you should start every new project project from a clean table. So he's doing a good job. Cleaning up the place before starting the cut the fabrics for a seat cover. Today we're gonna use two different colors to make a pattern. It's gonna look really cool when it's done. It's gonna be black and gray. <laughs> Using the very very approved method of of using a piece of wood to cut it out, to measure it. Well, it gives you a straight line. Can't deny that. I'm gonna measure out the pattern where it's gonna sit on the bench. It's gonna be green, uh, gray, black, gray, black, repetitive. We're cutting out the smaller pieces according to the width of the pattern. Make sure it's centered. To make it all even. Do the same on the other fabric. Measure it out. Line it up. Double check and cut it out. The pieces are all ready to go and <laughs> I've arrived to find and put the lower uh, lower yarn on the sewing machine because apparently he still can't do it you need a woman's touch for it it's time to sew the pieces together pin it down straight across I wouldn't use more pins than that but it's a, it's a firm fabric, it will stay. It's not a millimeter business, so it's fine. Craft teachers wouldn't like it, but it's well. We get to enjoy Demo's uh, concentration faces on this one. Bit closer to the camera, bit closer to see the edge where it, whether it's going straight or not it's time to flatten out the seams make it a bit neater and it also adds a nice decorative detail to that whole thing running a cross stitch across flatten it out Remember to cut out the yarn so it doesn't get caught up. I will show it later. It looks really nice and clean. Up close. Chop the yarn. And it's getting a really... A bit too tricky to get all the fabric. So we've got to turn over the, the whole project. Time to measure out, um, it out on the back of the seat. Planning to make the sides a different color, you know, solid black. It's measuring out and marking, marking the, where the sides are. Double checking on both sides. In and out. And then we're gonna cut it out. Pin it down, cut it out. Make it as even as possible. Again with the board. <laughs> oh, man. Again with the board and mark out with the seat flares. Outwards. Cut it out, take off the excess. Excess so it's easier to sew together. Then we're gonna make the side, side pieces. 
not an exact science with this one, but as if you would trace your hand on a piece of paper. It came out a little too small and it's good to have a seam allowance, so mark that out approximately. Cut it out. I'm gonna leave a little more room on the other side so we can flip it over. Easy. And you're gonna need an, uh, the other side, of course. I'm gonna sew the side piece together. Together with the back. It's just gonna be a straight line, so it's over, <laughs> over so fast, but gotta be. Gotta be patient. Anyways, it's a serious matter. Next we're gonna check out how it looks. It's gonna lay it on the table. I'm gonna take a closer look. Here we have the finished product. It's missing one side, but it's coming. I would say he did a good job. In fine detail. I give him an A. Or nine and a half. <laughs> See? It's gonna look really cool when it goes on. Build day two and I need to manage to do this without Tia. I'm going to be alone. Um basically day two is all about so showing the last of the seed and trying to not to fuck it up. And actually only problem or failure I managed to do is the back end I didn't make it tight enough so it doesn't properly fit and you can see in this with this part as it doesn't really fit properly but I managed to find the way to get it fitted but it it's a little bit sketchy, but next time I'm going to do something like this, I try to keep this in mind. It doesn't matter in this this situation, but it would be fun sometimes to manage to do this without any setbacks. And with the gluing, usually these things are attached by stable gun, but because I use fiberglass, and I don't have a proper stable gun. I cannot actually use use those, so I have to use contact glue, and that is a messy business, and I just fucking hate it. But in the end, I think it it ends happily, and it's loose. It it fits. Well, I have to say, this is never very fun. And it was especially annoying this time, but so far it looks pretty damn good. The final result is only, we can only see it tomorrow, so let's hope for the best. Hmm. The cover makes it cover makes it look a bit straighter than that it actually is, but is but otherwise it it looks like it's pretty much okay. It fits and it sits. So, 
in my mind that counts as a success. So, yet again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like the videos, comment on the videos and see you soon.